Hello guys, thank you for using my plugin. In this short video, I will guide you how to properly uh, set it, uh, set up the plugin to working with Elementor, uh, especially from version 3.0 because of the Clavio API release uh, in this uh, June. So, first of all, you will need to install the plugin, of course. Uh, so for Clavio, uh, you will see my plugins here. I already installed or an activist. After you install the plugin and active, uh, for example, I will have uh, this kind of form with first name, last name, email, and a message. To make sure the plugin working with the Elementor Pro form, you will need to click on the form. And then in the left panel in the action after submit, you uh, please make sure that you uh, add the Clavio into this. If not, the plugin will not work. In the first time, when you open, it will don't have uh, the Clavio. Then click on this little plus sign and then click on Clavio. After this, you will see an additional setting tab named Clavio setting here. In here, you will uh, need to uh, fill in some setting. First, the uh, Clavio private API key. This is required. If you don't know how to get this API for your account, please click this link here. You will have a. Uh, sorry, this is, this is the video for the setup guy. This link here will be the link to guide you how to get your API key, your private API key. Okay. After you have uh, your API your API key here, put it here. Similar for the list ID. List ID is the ID of the list that you want to subscribe your client to. If you don't know how to get this list ID, click this thing here. You will be going to the article to show you how to find your list ID. Okay. The short name, this is optional. Uh, in case you want to separate uh, the short where uh, your clients uh, subscribe in, in uh, some A-B test or uh, landing page test, etc. The email field ID, the email field ID is the ID of the email fields. To get this ID, you will go need to go into the form field setting here and in the email field. You click on this on and go into the advanced tabs. You will see the ID, the ID of the email fields. By default, it's the email, and I recommend I recommend to make it as the default. You can also make uh, your custom ID, but this uh, email email is uh, recommend. Okay. The actions we have a uh, two choice: subscribe and member. If you want to give, uh, as you can read here, if you want to give a profile consent to receive email marketing, FMS marketing or both, then you will need to make this setting to subscriber. If you change it into the member, your, your clients uh, will be going to the list will be going to the list, but they will don't have uh, the consent 
to receive email marketing or MMS message marketing. So if you want this, please change it into make sure this will be subscriber. The first name field ID is the ID of the first name fields. Similar to the email, go into the form field, click on the first name, go into the advanced tabs and get the ID of the fields. This case, I use a uh, custom ID for the first name, similar for the last name fields. See? And this, the debug logs, uh, this will be necessary in case you have uh, some errors or uh, some issue with the plugins and you want to um, and you want me to help you to debug in the future, then make this active. If not, free the activist. Okay, this is on. This is on for a sitting. After you have uh, all of this sitting, then we now will test. I will test for. I will test the form with the this uh, information and then click submit. Now you will see that uh, here I have a, a list. So test list here. Go into this. You will see that we have uh, the test submit has test submit with uh, has already uh, go into this and if we click on this profile test submit we will have uh, the first name last name and the email the test yes we will uh, you can see we have uh, the first name last name and the email and also this profile has subscribers to the chat list and the email marketing here that's it all hope this video enough really for you to understand if it's not free feel free to ask in i will try to miss another guy for you thank you again for using my plugin and have a great day